All right, fig lovers, this is Ross, the fig boss. Today's video, we're gonna cover the number one mistake I see when growers are growing fig trees in pots and containers. And the number one mistake is really a inconsistent soil moisture. Usually either growers are overwatering or underwatering that leads to problems like their leaves are turning yellow, they're dropping, the leaves are taking damage, they're getting patches of brown, maybe towards the, the centers of the leaves, but certainly around the edges of the leaves. Um, and then of course we have a inconsistency, not just of soil moisture, but of health of our fig tree. And an unhealthy fig tree is a lot less forward in actually producing and ripening their fruits. So it's really important to get this right. Of course, if you don't have the source of life, you're not gonna have success. So the number one thing I'm seeing actually, even more than overwatering, is actually underwatering. And that's right about right now because we're at the end of June. In fact, here in the Philadelphia area, it has been insanely warm. We've had a crazy heat wave. Um, we've had temperatures over in the 90s. And once we get in the 90s, these trees need water every single day without fail. And so when I see photos that people message me and I see their trees and I see that they're very droopy and I see that the leaves are all starting to turn yellow, this is a sure sign that your trees are not getting enough water. And it's just a guarantee that if you're not out here every day watering them yourself, you're gonna have this underwatering problem, especially when it's warm, you know, when it's, in the, you know, maybe even the hundreds or hundreds and tens, you guys got to get out here maybe even twice or three or four times a day. And I find that giving them water at a consistent pace rather than letting them dry out and then giving them a deep water is better. So do something consistent. And what I would highly recommend is getting yourself an irrigation line. So this is my irrigation line drip irrigation that hooks up here to every single fig tree I have. And you can see at the end of it is something called a spot spitter. So I know exactly how much water that these trees are getting every single day. And they're getting it without fail, without me having to do anything because it's hooked up to an automatic irrigation timer. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to spend 30 minutes every day hand watering. I don't have to miss a watering here or there. I know, and I can make this so simple that these trees get the water that they need every day and I don't even think about it. I don't think about fertilizing them. I don't think about watering them. We fertilize in the beginning of the year and then that covers the whole season and the water is done automatically for me. I can go away on vacation. <laughs> I can come back. The trees are gonna be happy, healthy, and they're gonna fruit later down in the season. So I would highly recommend doing that, paying attention to the heat. Well, there was a nasty gust of wind just now, but I would be paying attention to the heat ear trees get. Uh, and if it's over 90 every single day, start out with per five gallons of soil, start out with actually giving them a fourth of a gallon of water, a half of a gallon of water, and then work your way up maybe even to a gallon of water every single day. We're getting a crazy uh, windstorm today, if you guys haven't realized. Uh, then of course, Underwatering is the other problem I see. And usually underwatering is a slower, pro or overwatering, excuse me, is a slower process that degrades the quality of the soil and you have a really unhealthy fig tree. If your fig has got a lot of fruits on it and a lot of leaves on it, it's very, very unlikely you're under, you're overwatering your fig tree, especially when it's warmer outside. Now, if it's, you know, during dormancy, or let's say it's really cold, or you have very few leaves on your trees, you can start to overwater at that point, especially during dormancy. And especially when the temperatures are only like 40 or 50 or 60 degrees. Beyond that, uh, you know, you really don't have to worry about it. Um, and you'll end up seeing on the overwatering side of things, very similar symptoms, except your trees won't really droop. They'll start to get those browning leaves, browning edges around the leaves, the yellowing leaves as well. The trees really won't grow much. They won't produce much. The soil will actually smell. It'll kind of smell anaerobic and won't have a good uh, foresty smell to it. And um, your tree will just slowly degrade in health because those anaerobic conditions in the soil are killing the roots, which then eventually kill the top of the tree. So 
Um, those are the main messages there, guys. If you want more information on actually watering fig trees, I would highly recommend. I have some other videos you can watch. I'll put those in the description. But also, I would recommend my blog post that I created uh, last year on watering fig trees that has got so much nice information in it. Check it out. Please hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button for me. We'll see you for the next video. Take care, everybody.